Okay, so first we need to install ADB on our Windows PC. So to do that, all we have to do is we go to this link that will link in the description, and we click on the platform we're going to use on, uh, Mac, Linux, I'm on Windows, so click on that, and we'll scroll down. I've run agreed and click download. I'm already downloading mine, so it's going to download as a zip. Let's see if it's done yet. Just one second. So once you have it downloaded, it should look like this. We're going to double click it and double click again. And these are the things we need. So we're going to uh, right click the platform tool and copy them out to our C drive and tool. And we're going to paste them in here. And once that's pasted, we need to go into our environment variable. So we'll go into EMVIR, add environment variable so we can pull it up in Windows on terminal. And we go into environment variables here. We're going to go into system variables, the second column, not the first one. The first one won't do nothing. And we're going to path and we're going to add a platform tool. So we're going to go into here. Let me make sure I have it ready. I do not. We're going to click on um, down here, click on new, and we're going to add the directory. So it's c colon forward slash tools, and we can just click on that and then click control C, and we can click on here, click on again, and control V, paste, and then we're going to go into platform tools, which is right here. We're just going to copy this. And click OK. And now, if we test, we can test it in terminal by typing. Um, we type ADB. We can see it sees it now. Since ADB is in there, now we have installed ADB. Now we can start with the next part, which is um, running the commands in for our Android TV device. Okay, so we're back here at the um, TV, and I have a Google TV made by On. So it's an On, I think this one's a 4K. Um, if your screen doesn't look the same, it's just because I'm running a skin, I'm running Projectivity Launcher, Projectivity Launcher, but it'll essentially be the same setup if you're setting up image frame for your screensaver. Um, now, they discontinued or uh, currently no longer support the Android Play Store image frame, you need to run a code through ADB. So to do that first, we're gonna to go to the setting bar. We're gonna go down to Android settings. Um, and we're gonna go into, um, we're gonna need to set up two settings. We need to go into system and go to about. Let me find the about, there it is. And we're gonna go all the way down until we see, um, I think it's, yeah, the Android TV OS. We're gonna click it four times. And, uh, as, or maybe it's five times, but I'm already a developer. Once you see that like notification at the bottom, it'll say um, you have developer access. We're gonna go then into the developer options and we're gonna enable ADB. Uh, so just enable USB debugging. And I think that's the only option we need to enable on here. Let me just double check. Yep, so we'll enable the ADB options. And I'll just show you, I'm going to disable it and show you what you need to do because I think there's a second step you have to do after that. I'm going to disable that real quick and we're going to enable it. Click OK and then we need to find our IP of our device. So to do that we can just go in back to our settings, go into um, network and internet, go over your Wi-Fi and you can go over to uh, IP address. And you'll see mine's 192.168.1.227 for this device. And next, uh, write that down. And we're going to go to the computer and convert that now. And then I'll show the final product when we're done. Okay, so another thing to note, if you're like me and you have Projectivity Launcher opened and you try to open Image Frame, um, you'll probably notice it doesn't open. So what you'll need to do is go to the dashboard. The, well, this one opens now, but... <laughs> wasn't open before. So if it's not opening, you can always um, click up on the D-pad. So to go back, I just go down. So if it, it, for you, it'll probably want everything. So if you click up on the D-pad, it'll pull you to settings. Now here's where you're gonna type in your image frame URL. So mine's hosted on Unraid, so it's 192. Or make sure you have HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. The device where your image server is running, which mine is 
1.158 and the port for my image this is not standard so your port may vary you know depending on how you installed it mine is colon 8383 um, and we're going to use web view and keep screen on um, and then you just click save and once you click save you'll probably see a pull up like this and now that's done um, all we need to do from here is um, go back into our computer and now we set the screensaver so I'll be back with that in a second oh also if you want to install an image frame all you have to do um, is go into the Play Store find the Play Store hold on um, if you're not on uh, productivity launcher you just go to the apps page um, there we go and you'll just search image frame if it'll stop scrambling around one sec I hate my device because sometimes it disables my keyboard all right we're gonna go to image I'm gonna type this in on the Google home or the Google Play Store and it should pull up image frame hopefully there we go and you'll just click install mines are installed so I don't need to do that um, and let's come back in the next and I'll come back on the computer and show kind of what's going on, on the screen while I'm doing it basically the way to set it is we're gonna uh, enable it once we've already enabled ADB and we've got image frame installed now we're gonna ADB connect on a laptop or a phone using terminal or CMD I'm gonna be on Windows because most people use Windows um, that are watching this video but if you're using Linux or um, any other operating system they'll basically be the same idea Alrighty, so once we have that all set up, um, we're going to go and I'm going to have my camera in the bottom right hand corner playing video for you guys um, to show what's going on on the, on the TV screen while I'm doing it, recording my phone while I'm on my laptop. So first, what we need to do is once we have the IP of our device, um, as I showed earlier, we can do ADB connect 192.168.1.227 because that's my Android TV device. Save fail to authenticate because you'll see on the screen I'll get allow USB debugging computer RSA. We're going to click all always allow from this computer. And then we're going to click down on the D-pad and click allow. Once we do that, we'll try to connect again. So we'll do ADB connect and it's connected. Now, on their GitHub, um, they have a couple commands that we're going to run. So to do this, we're going to run ADB shell. Um, settings, put secure screensaver com uh, components, image frame screen service and we'll do that real quick and we'll paste that command in and it's successful now we can test it by trying this one where we um, shell setting get system screen timeout press this and we see it's at 6000 if it doesn't show anything we can run this second command which we can do it at 6 thousandths by milliseconds so let's say this would be 60 seconds it shows the screensaver so I like it at 60 seconds, so I'm going to keep it there. Um, now, if you watch on screen, we'll give it 60 seconds on the clock, and we'll see if it goes. So let's see. And as you can see, there it goes. So I actually had the wrong timing set. I had 600,000. So if you want it more than 60 seconds, you can just change the milliseconds into seconds and convert that into minutes or use a Google converter for minutes. But there we go. That is how we set image frame as a background screensaver on our Android TV. Now, if we want to do another. Okay, so if we also want to just do it for another Android TV, all we have to do to literally do another one is ADB connect or ADB, sorry, disconnect. And then our um, Android device, so it's one, let me connect to this one actually real quick. Connect. 192.168.1.227. And I'll probably ask me to connect again. And then I'll do ADB disconnect. 192.168.1.227.
and then I connect to the new device. Let's say I want to connect to um, my other device, my other Android TV. Let's say it's 141. ADB connect when I do it. Okay, dot 141. And you just keep repeating the disconnect and connect for each new device you want to do in the same set of steps I've said above. If you guys enjoyed my video, please hit a like, comment. If you have any questions or concerns, and subscribe. Also, please feel free to join our Discord channel on our um, on all my video descriptions have my Discord channel, as well as on my channel YouTube channel link. Um, if you guys also want to buy me coffee so I can keep doing this amazing work, I'd appreciate it. I have those links in the description as well. All the links that I've gone over will be in the description below as well. So you guys have a great day and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching.